Hello, this is Megan. And this is Mark. Welcome to our 15th video of the Star Wars Land Construction at Disneyland. Today is November 4th, 2017. We're located on Tarzan's Treehouse, looking at the development of the rock spires in the distance. And if you look closely, you can see that concrete has been added to the one on the right. I'll go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, the mesh forms at the top of the picture has the concrete layer, but concrete still needs to be added to the mesh forms near the bottom of the picture. Notice that the concrete is still a little wet. They must have added it within the last couple of days. Now we're on Donald's boat to Mickey's Toontown, and here we have a great view of the newly added concrete layer to the rock spires. Next, if we look at the rock spire on the right, near the bottom of the picture, workers are putting additional shape and patching up openings in the mesh forms. The worker in the middle of the picture that's facing us is putting shape to the top of a rock form. Notice that he's adding additional micron steel mesh to fill in the open space. Next, he's tidying a wire around the mesh to keep it in place. Patching up the open spaces in the forms is necessary before the concrete is added, so the concrete doesn't fall between the gaps. We're located at the Big Thunder Trail entrance to Star Wars Land, or I should say Galaxy's Edge, which is now the official name for Star Wars Land. But anyway, notice the shadow on the fence. This shadow is from a balancing rock, and if we look behind us, we can see it. It was really great to see this rock develop over time. Next, we'll take a trip down memory lane, looking at a recap of it being made. It is amazing how the rock structure looks like now. It is really detailed. Now we'll peek through the fence. More of the structural framework for the village area buildings have been put up. This is what it looked like last week, and I'll dissolve the picture back to what it looks like now. Next, we'll look at the model to see what the final look of the structure will be. The new building that they're making is located in the center of the picture. It's definitely coming along. Alright, we're in Disney California Adventure, and we'll try something new and see what we can see from the top of Mickey's Fun Wheel. And here we are going up. From this perspective, in the distance, the two crawler cranes can be seen. The crane on the right is lifting an air handler to be placed on top of the Millennium Falcon show building. If we look near the bottom of the picture, we can see the top of the Battle of Skip show building. We have a good view of the framework and the forms that are being installed on top of the building. Next, we'll go to the Mickey and Friends parking structure. In the middle of the picture, we can see some of the framework and forms that we observe from Mickey's Fun Wheel. If we focus our attention to the side of the Battle Escape Show building, we can see that a stairwell is being made. And it looks like the stairwell will have four levels. Actually, five if you count the roof access. To the left of the stairwell, workers are putting up a scaffolding platform, which is adjacent to the large opening of the side of the building. This platform will be used as a staging area to bring equipment and supplies into the building. Now if we slide to the left, we can see the air handlers that have been lifted to the top of the Millennium Falcon Show Building. And these air handlers will be used as part of the HVAC system to help regulate and distribute conditioned air throughout the building. 
And here we can see that workers are continuing to weld forms together for the rock spires. Today is November 7th, 2017. A concrete slab has been added to the ground level of the Battle Escape Stocking Bay. Here we can see the hose of the concrete boom pump entering the building. And inside the building, we can see the newly added concrete. In the middle of where the docking bay will be, a worker is using a power trowel to put a smooth finish to the concrete slab. Next, workers are using hand trowels to put a smooth finish to the edge of the concrete slab where the power trowel couldn't reach. Now we're at the top of Tarzan's treehouse. Workers in the distance are continuing to add mesh forms to the top of the battle escape for rock structures. The worker on the top is welding forms together. Next, if we look to the left a little bit, a crawler crane is lifting a vertical beam. This beam will be used for the rock structure framework located on the side of the Battle Escape. The beam is being lowered to its location. Today is November 11th, 2017. Inside the Battle Escape, where the docking bay will be, rebar has been added to the ground level. It looks like it's all ready for concrete to be added, just like the other side of the docking bay that we observed last week. Notice that there's a yellow sheeting that has been put under the rebar. This is a underslab barrier. It is used to help prevent moisture from damaging the floor of the building. Basically, the idea behind a vapor barrier on the ground level is to stop water vapor from penetrating the slab. Here we can see electrical conduits coming through the vapor barrier and between the rebar. Next, we'll look at the top of the battle escape. It looks like all the wall panels have been installed on the top structures. Notice that each one of these top structures will have doors. This one here will have multiple doors, and it looks like it'll have at least two rooms as well. And if you look closely, you can see metal studs, which will be used to create an internal wall in the structure. If we slide to the right, we can see that concrete has been added between two layers of forms to create a wall. Now we're in Mickey's Toontown, and we'll go on Donald's boat to see what we can see from that perspective. From here we can see that the rock spire on the right has a scaffolding debris netting attached to it. This netting will be used when the concrete is added to the mesh forms. The main purpose of the debris netting is to make sure that the concrete is contained and it doesn't spread off the edge of the forms. Next we'll peek through the fence at this tunnel entrance. We can see that a new beam structure has been made. This structure can be recognized on the model. I'll zoom in and highlight the new structure in yellow. Today is November 20th, 2017. Inside the Battle Escape, we can see that another concrete slab has been added to the ground level where the docking bay will be. This is the exact location where we saw the vapor barrier and the rebar last time we were here. Now if we look at the rock spires in the distance, we can see that concrete has been added to the spire with the debris netting. Workers are on top of the spire performing touch-up concrete work.
We'll go on Donald's boat in Mickey's Toontown and observe this spire from the other side. Here we have a good view of the newly added concrete. And if you look closely, you can see where the workers added the touch of concrete, which appears to be a little darker in color. This is what it looked like before the concrete was added. Now there's all the picture back to what it looks like today. We are now in Critter Country. A crane is lifting a mesh form to be put on the side framework of the Battle Escape. Here two workers are putting it into place. If we look to the left, a couple more workers are adding beams for the rock structure framework. Now that it's in place, the crane cable is detached. We'll go ahead and peek through the fence at this tunnel entrance to see what we can see. In the foreground, we can see the beam structures for the village area. And in the distance, we can see the workers that we observed in Critter Country installing mesh forms to the side of the battle escape. Next we'll peek through the fence at the other tunnel entrance on Big Thunder Trail. Here we can see that beams are in place to create a bridge. We'll look at the Galaxy's Edge model to see what this bridge will look like once it's completed. Next we'll look through the tunnel entrance of the model to see what it'll look like at the ground level. Today is November 24th, 2017. More wall panels have been added to the Battle Escape. This is what it looked like last time we were here, and I'll dissolve the picture back to what it looks like today. Sliding to the right, we can see that more formwork has been added. However, this time it's horizontal formwork. Notice that the horizontal formwork will create a platform with no wall attached to the far end. It is possible that they're setting up to create a rock cavity. Also notice the two layers of walls that are being made. I'll highlight them in yellow. Between these two layers, dirt will eventually be added and then trees planted. This will be very similar to what was done on the top of the Phantasmic Storage Building. Next we'll go on the Disneyland Railroad to see these forms from the other side. I'll pause the picture right here. We have a pretty good view of the formwork. Let's look at the model to see what this area will look like once it's completed. I'll go ahead and zoom in. And here we can see a rock cavity. So it looks like the formwork will be used to create rock cavities for caves. Also notice all the trees in the background. These will be between the two layers of walls that we viewed from the parking structure. It'll be awesome to see how this develops over time. Well, that's a taste of things to come. We can't wait to see what they build next.